morning. So last time I was talking about foods that I like to eat when I am by myself, and I mentioned popcorn, but there is one that I love even more, and that is salsa, especially chips and salsa. But I don't have any chips today because I ate them all last night, and so I, I did the next best thing. I put salsa on my breakfast, and all that is is just eggs, salsa, salt, and pepper. Very simple, but it's got great flavor. Well, during the month of June, we have been looking at foods that are simple but powerful in flavor. We have been associating them with the fruits of the Spirit out of Galatians chapter 5, which also are simple but powerful when we make them habits in our lives. And so one more time, let's turn back to this passage and look at verse 22, and it reads, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. So today we want to look at self-control and also gentleness. And what are these things? Listen, this is not rocket science. And if you were to do an in-depth Greek study on both of these words, you would find this. Gentleness is just simply being mild and not being harsh. Self-control means you're in control of yourself. When you have strong emotions or somebody ticks you off, you're able to control the anger that comes out and you're able to uh, 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 control how you respond to people. And we live a disciplined life. That's it. Well, now who would epitomize these things? course, we look at Jesus. Jesus is unlike any other person who has ever walked the face of the earth, and he has crazy power, doesn't he? He's able to walk on water. He is able to calm a hurricane-like storm, heal the sick, and raise the dead. But we see him show great control and restraint when he goes to the cross. He is able to hold back an army of angels that are ready at any moment to go to war for him, and he willingly goes to the cross. But I would say there's something else that really defines him even better, and even though those things are incredibly important, but it's the way he interacts with people. Notice that when he heals the leper, he first touches him, and no one ever touched lepers like this. It was an act of great kindness. And also, when he heals the woman who is bleeding, he calls her daughter. This is a term that a father would say to his own daughter. And also, with the woman, the sinful woman that anoints Jesus, he defends her before Simon the Pharisee and see. Jesus really epitomizes gentleness and tenderness. He is not all about the power, but he is all about gentleness with people. Well, as we wind this thing down, I want to ask you, what are you looking for today? What is it that you seek and what is it that you want? Do you seek gentleness and self-control in your life today, as well as these other characteristics, love, peace, joy, uh, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness. Is this what you want? And you can have each one of these things, but and you can even master them, but it, there is a key here, and the key is surrender. You see, if we try to master these things on our own, we will constantly be in a fledgling state or up and down and up and down. We must surrender to God and to Jesus. And so, how do we do that? Well, first of all, we must humble ourselves to God and His plan. We must recognize that we are sinners and that the only way that we can be forgiven of our sin is through Jesus shed blood on the cross. And when we accept that, it brings us into a relationship with God, and we view Jesus as our Lord and Savior. 
And something very powerful happens in our lives. The Holy Spirit comes in, and it's the Holy Spirit that moves and cultivates these characteristics as we have read in Galatians 5. It's His work, not necessarily our own. The other thing we must realize is that we must live God's way. It's all about Him. And the way we do that is we model Jesus in our lives. We cut out things like pride, arrogance, and selfishness, and now we embody things like love and humility. And so, when people offend us, we forgive, even though we don't want to, because that's what Jesus did. And when you make a million videos and outtake after outtake, like my family has had to put up with me, with me, you know, you have patience. My family has been tremendously patient with me because that's what Jesus would do. And see, when we do these things, then we're well on our way to cultivating these things in our lives, each one of these characteristics, and we can be satisfied like a great meal. Thanks for hanging out with me. God bless you. Have a great day.